Welcome back kids. Let's start today's video with an activity. Turn your head. Can you turn it up and down, left and right? Swing your arms. Can you rotate your arms in all directions? Lift your leg. Can you move your legs in circles? Bend your arms and legs. In which directions can they move? Wriggle your fingers and toes. How do they move? You can turn your head and move your arms and legs because these body parts have movable joints. A joint is where two or more bones meet. There are different types of joints. The different types of joints allow the body to move in different directions. Let's learn about the different kinds of joints. The ball-shaped end of one bone fits into the cup-shaped socket of another bone to form a ball and socket joint. A ball and socket joint allow movement in many directions. Back and forth. Side to side. Circular movements. Examples of ball and socket joints are hip and shoulder joints. You all must have seen the door hinge that allows back and forth movements of the door. A hinge joint is similar to it. A hinge joint allows back and forth movements. Examples. Elbow joints. Knee joints, finger joints, toe joints. A pivot joint allows rotation of a bone about another. Neck joints is an example of pivot joint. A saddle joint allows a bone to slide in two directions, back and forth, and side to side. Example of saddle joints is thumb joints. So kids, now do you know where to find different joints in your body? This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at thestudypod01 at gmail.com.